what it is, y'all. It is your old boy Pilk, and we've got the Damachi news. Let's just go ahead and jump in with actually something that was leaked last week. This new uh, Bell and Hestia. Uh, we think I was initially thinking maybe this was that thing with Bell and Hestia, and we're going to see this quite yet. It seems a bit early to have another gotcha, but it's another gotcha coming up tomorrow. Uh, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth draws. There's only two units on here. Uh, there's nothing here saying that these units that that this is a double rates banner or anything like that. Um, I don't know if every units can be on this banner. I'm going to wager probably so, but I really hope not. And I'll tell you why here in just a moment. But first of all, let's take a look at the new bell. Really good looking unit, and. Excellent stats. Really good stats. Uh, I've heard someone complain about the power creep recently, and I will admit the power creep has gotten kind of out of hand. But uh, this is a really good unit, especially have if you have the light, uh, the swimsuit Haruhime. This unit is kind of really good. Uh, foes plural for skill one, fast mid light magic attack with temporary magic boost and ultra critical rate. Thir minus 35% strength and magic for two turns, and allies decrease debuff by three turns. So whatever debuffs are in your allies, you can kiss those off. That is stupid, stupid handy. Uh, especially for something like 7th zone. Come on. Come on. This going to be so good. Um, skill 2 is a foes, plural, super light magic attack with ultra uncounter rate, and... Decrease buff by two turns and self add two extra actions. Both are low light magic attacks. Now, he is more of a supporter than a hitter, but you look at his stats and his stats are off the chain. So if you have uh, that light Harahime, the, the swimsuit Harahime, that means that he's going to hit like a truck. Especially when you jump up to skill three. Foe singular super light magic attack with ultra critical rate and for each strength and magic buff on enemy, plus 20% skill damage. So I kind of, based on this, expect this week to be one of the 7th the, 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 the zone that's driving this week. Probably is going to be a uh, dark type. Just saying. Just saying. Be aware of that. Um, really good unit. Like, if you have that light Haruhime, you pretty much need this dude. Uh, he is going to take people apart at the seams. Um, that, uh, debuff decrease is going to be really good. Uh, the strength of magic down 35% is really good. Um, yeah, just everything he does is amazing. The only thing he doesn't do is buff himself, but you throw him on there with the light heart, he may, he doesn't need it. He just won't need it. Um, yeah, his other effects, his passive skills are nullify charm, which all the bells do. Fast growth. I'm not sure what that is. Is that what he used on Ryu? 35% uh, dark resist. Regular attacks and counters are all light, light magic attacks. 15% damage on crit. That's super nice. All status plus 25% and 20% physical and magic resist. Dude's a tank, man. A tank. Watch out for this guy in Wargame. Just saying. The only thing that's going to suck with him in Wargame is he's not going to have the buffs, so he's really not going to do insane damage. But he will be a tank, and the debuffs and all that stuff that he does, what's it going to be worth? really think this guy's going to be part of a lot of really good uh, wargame teams going forward. And he's going to be really good for Record Buster, because once you buff him with that 20% skill damage on top of the 80% uh, elemental damage, it's going to be ridiculous. He's just going to hit like a truck. Um, we'll talk about him in a little more detail tomorrow, but really great unit. Here's the new Hestia, Celebration Goddess Hestia. Okay, uh, decent agility stat, not the best thing ever, but it is a double S, it's really good. And almost a thousand HP before any CPs are added, so... Great unit. Uh, at maximum break, she does foes, plural, 20%, sorry, minus 20% strength and magic, allies 10% uh, counter rate. So... Do some more, uh, some maths on that. At level 
60, she'll probably be 15% strength of magic and ally uh, probably 7% counter rate. So she'll still be really good at level 60. Uh, we don't know what these stats are going to be, but you want a Maxima Breaker. She is going to be so, so good. This Hestia is an absolute must. And I hate to tell you that, considering we just got some banners in and a lot of us are still working on those units. I think these two units are better than what we got for the anniversary. Personally, my opinion. Let me know what y'all think, but I think these two units are great. Absolutely spectacular. Um, moving on, we've got the all the all the four star Hestia's campaign. We knew pretty much about this. Now, on this is going to kick off on the thirtieth for most of us, thirty uh, first in Japan. Uh, Celebration Goddess Hestia is first. Is that the? Hold up. Yeah. We're going to get one of her. Free. How's about that? So we're going to get the Celebration Goddess, the Part-Time Goddess, the Paradise Moon Goddess, All Abroad, uh, Ceremonial Flame, Sacred Fire, Moonlight Reading. So this isn't really going in any... Well, no, it is going in, in order. Because I, I take that back. Celebration Goddess is the newest one, but everyone else I think is going just about in order. There are some... Great ones on here, though. Really, 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 really great Hestias. So, log in for two weeks, get these Hestias. Now, we did talk about this, and uh, the and like I said, you're only getting one of each. Um, the uh, man, does that really discount the new banner? I don't know. We'll have to talk about that. We're really gonna have to talk about that. That is gonna be a big discussion point tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, let's tune in tomorrow for the Before You Summon video because we really got to consider uh, the weight of all of this before we really talk about that. But log in for two weeks, you're going to get one of each Hestio. They are not doubling it up, like I said, time and time and time and time again. It's just if you don't log in for whatever reason or you're, you know, you're new to the game or whatever, for the next six months, you'll be able to get these guys. So, gals peoples uh so be wise be smart but uh, notice like i said before it is the unit it is not a bond if you don't have one of these units you're gonna get that unit so totally worth totally worth and i mean the first one on here is like the best one so well arguable arguable there's there's some great units on here Let's not beat around the bush. There's some amazing units on here. But you want to log into each and every day so you get these. Seventh Zone is coming back. Like I said, I expect one of those to be Dark Type. We just don't know 100%. But, you know, they kind of go in cycles now. So we can kind of guesstimate what's coming. Uh, when we get the data mines tomorrow, we'll know for certain what, what all is happening. But Seventh Zone is back. We kind of knew that. Uh, since we have War Game now, Record Buster's coming back tomorrow. So that's all good news. Uh, and it is Revis. So start preparing for that. Um, you know, she she does very, very special things. Uh, I've been talking about dropping a video that covers all the record busters. And I really just need to do it because there's we now have four of them. And they all do something different. And they're all really interesting. So we really need to, to get that out at some point. Uh, Iris Combo. So they're refreshing this Iris Combo. It is not worth. If you haven't bought the 600 Iris Combo and you wail, uh, get that. It's way worth. These are garbage. That one's great. Um, you basically get 10 Hero Lights for more or less free. So don't worry about these. These are crap. Sorry. Hate to say it. Lo love Dan Mimo. Love everything about it. But the, uh, I'm sorry, these are just an absolute rip. They need to reduce the price of these. This should be 20 bucks, and this should be 40 bucks, 100%. I, I just, it is not worth to, I mean, even if this was like 25 bucks, and this was like 50 bucks, that I could argue. But the current prices, nah, way too expensive. Just, sorry, I could rant all day about that, but just way too expensive. 
Ending this week, Seventh Zone is gone. We've already talked about that. Uh, Family Rush is gone. Make sure you get your last runs in tonight because it runs out this evening. Uh, War Game is gone, so hopefully you got uh, wherever you got. Uh, I am stuck at King 1 personally just because the units that I use aren't good enough to get rid of that. Uh, 2020 Labyrinth City Collection. So if you haven't traded in your Hestias, do it now. Uh, I'll release a whole video on that tonight, uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, Just don't forget these things, guys. Do not forget them. These are free CP items. I don't care if you don't care which has the, uh, the, they give us. At least do it for the CP items, if nothing else. It's totally worth. Uh, so that is everything coming. Um, tomorrow we get the Worldwide Gacha Tickets, Splitting Campaign Reward Distribution. Good stuff, that. Uh, 2020 Labyrinth City Collection Ice Selection. Ice Selection starts tomorrow. Third Anniversary Gotcha, that uh, one we were talking about before. Seventh Zone Season 17. Uh, Record Buster August series, uh, Season 1. The Hestia Campaign starts then on Thursday. And then the Iris Combo resets at the beginning of the month. And of course, as you know, at that point, you need to have sold. That's Friday anyway. You, or math yeah anyway that's for that's a day that's later this week um when that resets basically everything's going to reset in the game so you need to have everything all your cp items and all that done taken care of by that point so now we do have one extra thing i almost forgot about this we have one interesting ex extra little anomaly here uh one extraneous cell um basically the long is sort of the main thing you want to take away from this uh, we are about two weeks away from the uh, August 11th, I believe is what it says, is we're finally getting uh, part three, and we are finally getting the voice acting. The voice acting is coming to all three campaigns with the drop of part three, so if you've been holding out for that, if you're looking forward to seeing what, they, uh, what all is going on with that... I personally am looking forward to that. I I love listening to the voice acting and all that stuff. Even though I do listen to a Japanese, I don't know a lick of Japanese. It just it seems right. I don't know. Maybe it's my maybe it's my uh, uh, sub simp, you know, nature. But we're getting the voices if you care on uh, with part three, which comes in about two weeks. So start preparing, guys. Remember, you want to save some Irish for that. We need about 8,000 iris to max out those last two banners, even though we're getting a new banner tomorrow. All going to be part of the discussion, guys. Stay tuned for that tomorrow. We're going to talk about Hestia tonight. I have one other video tonight as well that you guys have specifically requested. Uh, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a sub if you haven't already. Like this video. Hit that old thumbs up button. And... Uh, I guess if, if you got this far in the video, uh, drop a hashtag weekly news in the comment section so I know who made it to the end of the video. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys on the next one.